Hey guys, it's Kristen. Now if you didn't know, before I started my blog and my YouTube channel, I was a wardrobe assistant for some of LA's top celebrity stylists. Yes honey, my day consisted of driving around town, pulling clothes from designers, fittings, and red carpet style. Mm-hmm. I learned a lot about fashion over the years and now I'm here to teach you. The time I spent as a wardrobe assistant really pushed my creativity. I thought I knew fashion, okay? But I didn't really learn about fashion until I worked in that industry. Styling really sort of got me to think outside the box. Every little rule, every little thing I thought I knew about fashion just didn't exist anymore. It was like learning to speak a whole new language. I'll never forget one time when I was styling, I needed to find a dress. Um, and we found this dress, but it was missing like bits and pieces, things we needed. Like I think it needed to be a little longer. The sleeve might need to be a little bit longer. Anyway, what we ended up doing was buying two of the exact same dress. And then we took it to the seamstress and sort of like chopped it up and created a whole new look. I never would have thought about that before. And now in my personal life, I find myself sort of you know, when, especially like if I go shopping at a place like Forever 21 or H&M, I buy sometimes two of the exact same things and I, I find myself doing the same process. Like I'll take two skirts and turn it into like a cool top and bottom like matching set. That's my stylist um, instinct sort of coming out. I do that still to this day. Styling also helped me sort of to learn to see things that weren't there. That's weird, right? But you know how, like really having an imagination, I guess is the right word. Here's another stylist story for you. One time we were filming a music video for our client and we needed a dress to be a very specific color. And when I tell you, we searched all over the place. We called every designer, we looked in every showroom, I was in every store looking for a dress that was a specific color and we just couldn't find anything. Eventually the key stylist on the project was like, look, let's just buy this dress that is the right silhouette and we will take it and we will have it dyed, the right color that we needed for the shoot. I'd never thought about stuff like that. And I mean, I'm a crafty girl, but really doing it as a way to like create new fashion for yourself, as opposed to just like looking at something on the rack and being like, oh no, it's not right. You know, using that, that creative artistic eye and being like, you know what, it's not right, but honey, with some dye or the right seamstress, or the right, you know, fabric markers or whatever, I'm gonna make it right. And the last thing that I think styling really taught me was to be resourceful. I mean, some of these projects the calls and the requests and the asks were for things you're like, I don't even know where to begin to find that. I don't even know who has that. Like, where do I even get in my car and go to? I was working for this um, stylist who had a really fantastic um, client. I don't want to name any names. Um, it was my first day, or actually no, my second day working with this particular stylist. It was my first time working with um, anyway, we get there and we have this entire rack of clothes and the stylist just starts layering on pieces. I mean, she was wearing, our client was wearing a dress and then she put on a skirt and then she put on a belt and then she wrapped another belt. And I'm sitting there being like, that's not right. That's going to look crazy. Like in my mind, I'm saying that to myself. And then after she put it all together, I was like, okay, layering is real. Thinking outside the box is real. Being resourceful is real. And like not paying attention to any rules, I guess. Like all these are very real principles that I learned just in this one experience. Now, even in my own personal fashion, girl, I'm the first person to like put a skirt on top of a dress and create a whole new look. You know, I be tucking in rompers into jeans just because I like the cut off of my romper. Like I really, um, think creatively when I dig in my closet, which is great because at the end of the day, I'm creating all these different looks and I'm not spending all the different cash, you know? That's just a little taste of what this series is going to be about. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. 
Um, you guys are always asking about where I'm wearing this, like what bra do I have for, to support the girls, like what dress is that, where'd you get those shoes, and sometimes it's as easy as being like, here's the designer where I got them from, sometimes it's as easy as being like, oh, it's actually a romper tucked into a, a skirt, you know, I like to share all that type of stuff with you guys on my Instagram, so now we're going to do it on my YouTube channel. All my wardrobe assisting tricks. So subscribe to my channel, thumbs up this video. If you have any questions, anything you want to know with regards to fashion, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. This is going to be real personal and between me and you guys. And I'm just going to make sure that we all, honey, when we step outside the house, we be looking right. Okay? See you guys soon.